So here at Moto Exotica, we're the largest classic car dealer in the Midwest with over 250 cars in stock. We sell 35, 40 cars a month, and this is a machine that constantly needs to be fed. We move cars in, we move cars out. Nothing like good old fashioned American ingenuity and USA steel. Oh, hot rod. Woo! Get you some of that. Let's face it, Americans made car culture. Two-tone, 59 Corvette. Probably made in St. Louis, because the majority of them were made in St. Louis. Not just the cars, it's not just the culture, but it's the heart. Give me 84. I'll get it done. Look, we go and buy 40 cars, and those are 38 bad decisions. We're out of business. There is something more to a car than just getting you from A to B. Monday, Monday. So we're in the classic and exotic car business, and we're out of town just about every other weekend. So on Mondays, you come through that door and you dread some bullshit that's gonna go down. You know it's gonna be something. Did we get payment for the other three yet? We have not got payment for the other three yet. And because? I can't say why, because. So we have Mondays at Moto Exotic are a mess. Um, it's nature of the beast, though. Uh, did we get the money for the 57 T Bird yet? Um, not yet. We're supposed to be getting it in the mail. And oh, come on. The check is in the mail. That's all that guy keeps telling us. On Mondays, I always know it's going to be some bullshit. So I come into work with my gloves on, ready to fuck. Any problems with it? No. Well, she come up a little hot on the test drive. Could be, uh, could be a thermostat. We're going to have to see. It's overheating a little? Yeah, a little bit. I hate them. I hate Mondays. Anybody call for me while I was gone? A Michael Desert called for you. Wants to talk business. What did he, did he say he anything a, else? No, not really. He had an accent. And accent. Mm -hmm. Did you say where he's from? Nope. Oh, Miami. He did say Miami. 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 Guy with an accent. Yep. So I returned the call. Now, Mr. Desert could be anybody. I've never had any relation with him. I don't even know who he is. He could be an insurance salesman for all I know. But with respect, I give him a call. Over the next 40 minutes, he explains to me who he is, what he does, and where he's located. He owns 1,600 classic cars. He owns a million square feet of property in Manhattan. He has hotels and high-rise apartments and condos throughout uh, Sunny Isle, Florida. And then he tells me, when you look up lifestyles of the rich and famous, that's me. He says, come on down, I'll put you up in my hotel for the week. I said, what hotel? He says, the Trump International Beach Resort, right in Sunny Isle, on the beach. Who can say no? Roll on. Yeah. Are you glad you came? Yeah. Huh? Only you old guys no, no, can relate. Hey man, we're on spring break. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I like it here. I like it here. Welcome to paradise. Sun, beach, bikinis, and classic cars. But really, why did you bring me down here, Michael? And I said to myself, maybe if a guy's smart and he's capable of running four locations, five locations, we can make it the largest a classic car company in the world. It's a weekend that could change everything. I guess I'm getting married real quick. But what the f*** are we going to do? Uh, we're going to have to figure it out fast. So Michael rattled us to the top of Bond, we're coming after you. It's a weekend that could change everything. I guess I'm getting married real quick. But what the f*** are we going to do? Uh, we're going to have to figure it out fast.